Hello there, everybody, and welcome to the Monday morning message. And I am going to take you back in history about uh, nearly 11 plus years ago. Uh, we started a change of business task force, and it was on recruitment, the whole onboarding process, uh, recognition. And at that time, we had very little in uh, official recognition programs for either tenure or uh, awards or promotions, what have you, as well as retention. And certainly uh, the work of that task force, which actually split into two uh, distinct task force, one's related to the hiring onboarding process, the second were uh, relating to celebrating our employees and retention, uh, did some fabulous work out of that task force, came of course our iconic ER3 celebration, uh, as well as the blue badge concept and a more robust at the time onboarding process and some ideas about recruitment, including a change to application and asking some more culturally correct questions. And then certainly on the recognition side uh, came some perfect attendance things, uh, as well as that baby onesie and what have you. Uh, the reason I'm mentioning it today is I think the uh, word or the acronym ER3 has come more to symbolize that monthly celebration of our employee wellness. And certainly I think it should be that. I don't think we need to go back in history and have people thinking about its origin. I think it takes on a better life as our signature recognition event. And because retention is so important to us, uh, there are three R's currently today in that acronym. And I think we ought to consider uh, changing the recruitment one to be relationships. And if we think about retention, I think we would all agree that the two drivers to employee retention our relationships with their supervisor, or to use that old bad word, boss, and relationships in other places as well. But I think we all know by statistics, a fair number of employees uh, leave their immediate supervisor or their immediate work environment in an organization. And the second is recognition. And certainly, uh, you know, we know and understand the power of recognition. We also understand the power of where there's not recognition. And if I look around our organization, those uh, facilities, those departments, those people that are doing the best at serving their employees and recognize them, then first as individuals and secondarily for the work they do, they do the best. Those that kind of give it either lip service and or don't really create those relationships where that recognition can be heartfelt and relationship based, they don't do as well. And so I would encourage all of us as we're working hard on retention and seeing you know, some improvements in hiring, uh, but unfortunately we're still flat if not up a bit on trending as it relates to our retention. Uh, and you know, our turnover is uh, continuing to increase just a bit, uh, which puts a good deal of stress on the business as we all know. But more importantly, don't we want the best for every Trilogy employee? And wouldn't we consider uh, having a relationship with those you work for, an integral part of that experience. So I'm going to uh, send this message out to you along with a voting tab on the email. Uh, just for those that are new to voting on these kind of things, uh, you can't do it on your handheld typically. It needs to be on uh, you know, either an Outlook uh, online or uh, through Citrix, what have you. Uh, you can make a vote on that, but I want to get everybody's opinion on this. Uh, so the question will be very simply, should we consider in that acronym changing the uh, R from recruitment to relationships and then having that iconic monthly celebration and the acronym reflect what we're all seeking in the very best for our employees, which is great relationships. So anyway, it's all about relationships. It's all about recognition. I'll also give you one more additional clip uh, if I can uh, get it onto the uh, email as well uh, from David Novak, who's doing a fabulous job former Yum Brands uh, chairman and CEO on building recognition and understanding the power of recognition. So make it a great trilogy week. Go out of your way to recognize somebody this week. And if you don't have good relationships or any, today's not too day early of day to start. So get on it. Have a great week. Thanks for all you do. Take care. You're the author of, of the, the new book, Oh Great One, a little story about the awesome power of recognition. Yeah.
uh, with employees, and I guess it wouldn't hurt for people in your life uh, as well to, to yeah. recognize. Absolutely, that. I think obviously with employees it makes a lot of sense, but with everyone, uh, you know, one of the things that I learned running Young Brands is, is that there's a real what I call what I'm calling a global recognition deficit. People are starved for recognition all around the world. My new company, we just fielded national research, and we found that 82% of people believe that their supervisor does not recognize them for what they do. 60% of people basically say, hey, listen, I, I value recognition as, as much as money. Recognition happens very rarely. Most employees say it happens about once every two months. Uh, and 40% and of people say, you know, if they had recognition in their companies, they put more energy into their work. So to me, recognition is a secret weapon that every leader really needs to use. And what I did with this book, Oh Great One, is I, I wrote a, a fictitious story. It's a parable. It's about this. It's based on my experiences in business, but it's about this guy named Jeff Johnson who becomes CEO of this new company. It's called Happy Face Toy Company, and he realizes nobody's happy. And, and he turns around the business. You have to read the book, but he turns around the business by really uh, taking recognition and valuing people and listening to people, listening to people and getting them involved, getting them energized. And I'll tell you what. I've run businesses myself. I've seen all of our great leaders around the, the, the world run their businesses when they do it well. You have to create a work environment where people feel valued. And Greg Creed's our new CEO. He obviously believes in recognition. We got Mickey Pan, who's going to be running our China business. The job requirement for both Mickey and, and Greg is they had to really cascade recognition and keep it alive in our Positive company. recognition. Absolutely. I mean, now, you don't need someone, you know calling you a screw-up every other well, day. Think, Recognizing you as a screw-up is probably not I a I think there's two kinds of recognition. One is earned recognition. Yeah. You've got to earn it. You know, if it's fluff, it doesn't matter. Okay, now, the other thing you have to do is recognize bad behavior. If you have bad behavior in your company, you can't allow it. You have to make sure that people know it's not allowed, and you have to have high standards, and you have to manage out the people that really don't really walk the talk and what your, yeah, what your values are. This all comes back to, I think, managers need to manage down. So many managers just manage up. Right, yeah. their own career. They look up and they're trying to think of how to make themselves look good. To, so, so that they, and, and if you can manage down the whole the whole organization, you know, I've better. always said, don't look up, don't look down. Always look straight ahead when you're dealing with people. Nobody's better than you. Nobody, you're not better than anybody else. Deal with people eyeball to eyeball, face to face, level to level. And then when it's a level playing field and you value people, I think you can't help but do well. But I'm really excited about this book, uh, Ogo, because there's a huge need out there. I mean, it's amazing to me how many companies don't realize how important it is to recognize people. Well, I was going to ask you, why do you think there's such a deficiency? I think people, well, one thing, I think leaders feel like if you give somebody some recognition, they might not work as hard. The other thing they say is, if I recognize this person, Definitely what's it. the other person yeah. going to think about? Right. That's why, to me, the key is, is you want to make recognition a high value in your entire company. It's, I can't be the only person recognizing people. I, I have to have everybody in our organization recognizing people. So we, we took recognition and we cascaded it deep in our organization so that all of our leaders have their own individual recognition awards and we have fun celebrating the achievements of others. And believe me, we are a high performance organization. I mean, we have our people planning reviews and we manage out the people that need to go. But if you're doing some great work, we want people to feel appreciated for doing it. The other thing that's really interesting is there's two reasons why people leave their jobs. In, in all around the world, this has been quantified. Number one is they don't feel appreciated for what they do. Mm -hmm. That's why recognition is so important if you want to build a sustainable, great, high-performing company. And the other thing is they don't get along with their boss. And so we try to create coaches, not, not bosses. You know, we think boss is an archaic phrase. You want to have people being coaches and developing people and valuing people. And I talk uh, about these, these principles in, in the book, Oh Great One, uh, and, and I lay it out in a really simple, straightforward fashion. And I personally, you know, really believe this is a book that should be cascaded in every company and around the world. Because if it does, the world will be a better place. You think that, uh, I don't even know what, I don't know what the statistics are, and I don't know, frankly, if you, if you know them right, yeah. right here on top yeah. of your head either. But... Um, the longevity of the typical yum employee versus another company because of the ideals um, that you preach not only every day and the way you run your, your businesses, but the things you say in the yeah, book. Right. Well, I think one of the things that, you know, we study great companies. When we were spun off in 97, one of the things I did is I went to all the great companies in the world and took my team and we tried to say, what are they doing to drive consistent results? Continuity and people and process is one of the keys. 
And if you can keep great people and keep them in place and they keep getting better and better at their job, then you're going to win. The companies that have constant turnover at the top and the management changes, those are the companies that continually struggle. So this is why recognition is so important. Your turnover rates go down once Our you started to focus rates, more on this? When we, at the team member level, we had like 150% team member turnover. We dropped it below 100 so we really you know, improved our turnover rates and improved our turnover performance. And I think the thing I'm most proud of around the world is that we do have continuity. We have great general managers all around the world, people that, you know, if you're in France, you're French. If you're in China, you're Chinese. If you're in India, you're Indian. But we're keeping these people because recognition is a universal value.